Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and we are in the Physics Surgery Originals and I have brought forward to you a concept based question on rotational mechanics uh, which covers more than two or three concepts that are uh, very essential for your JE advanced examination. Okay, so let's move forward to the formal wording of the question. In lecture demonstration, a toy train track is mounted on a large wheel that is free to turn with negligible friction about vertical axis. Okay, so there's no friction at the axis. A toy train of mass M is placed on the track with the system initially at rest. The electrical power of the train is turned on and the train reaches a steady speed V with respect to the track. So the track is also rotatable about this and the train is also rotatable, okay? Neglect the mass of the spokes of the wheel. So this wheel is being considered to be almost like a ring, the wheel or whatever the track that the wheel is mounted on. So the basic assumptions to solve our problem are written below the diagram. Assume toy train to be a uniform circular arc. So this toy train is a uniform circular arc of length same as the radius of the wheel. So the arc length and the radius are exactly the same. The, take the wheel and track as uniform circular ring of mass 2m and radius capital R. Okay, so the train's mass is m. It's a circular arc uh, length same as the radius and the track itself is of mass 2m and it's considered to be a ring of radius R. The magnitude of final momentum of train is P. The magnitude of final angular momentum of the train about the vertical axis of rotation is capital L. So these are both magnitudes mark the correct statements according to the given information. So the option A is asking the magnitude of L by P ratio and the same with B, you have to mark which one is correct or which one is not. And work done by the power source which drives the train minus the final kinetic energy of the wheel plus track system is greater than P square divided by 2M where M is the mass of the train. So you have to check whether this is right or wrong. And the last one, the magnitude of P is 4 MV divided by three into sine half. So you want to give it a try, just pause the video here, try it for five to six minutes. And it's a very good JE advanced level question with multiple concepts. You could see there is a momentum, angular momentum, center of mass, work done, work energy theorem, et cetera, et cetera. Many more concepts that I can't utter right now. Uh, so don't want to reveal too much about the question before you try it, okay? So once you're done, let's go ahead with the solution and the concepts involved in the question, okay? The relative speed of the train with respect to track is given as V, right? He said once the thing starts rotating and there is a steadiness achieved, remember both the track and the train are moving or movable or rotatable about this axis. So because this is all free system, once the train starts to move and obviously it applies some friction between the track and train, remember frictionless was between the axle and the wheel. Okay, there should be some kind of a contact force between the train and the track so that it can move. Otherwise, you, you cannot have the motion. So on the train, if the force is in the forward direction, then on the track, it would be in reverse. Therefore, if you see the train's uh, omega with respect to the axis is, let's say, omega subscript T in the diagram, you could clearly visualize that the entire wheel or whatever track that it is mounted on it should be rotating in the opposite direction so this omega t and omega are seen with respect to ground observer and are in anti-parallel sense you could see that but he did not give any of these two values instead they gave a relative value okay so he said relative velocity of the train with respect to the track on which it's running is given as v this answer is something that we need to use so that should be r into relative angular velocity right which which is a vector subtraction and because these two are anti-parallel that vector subtraction becomes an addition of magnitudes okay so this is the first equation from the given information also i think uh, on the entire system of train plus track there's no external force that would cause a torque therefore the conservation of angular momentum can be applied to train plus circular track system since initially everything is at rest it should be zero and finally when they are both moving the track would contribute towards a moment angular momentum of moment of inertia is for a circular ring right 2m is the mass of the ring into r square omega minus because the ang angular velocity of this is in reverse so mr square for the train because mass m is unif 
uh, uniformly distributed and exactly at same distance from the axis. So it should be MR square into omega t. So using these two equations, we should be able to judge the value of R omega t, which is the absolute speed of the train, which is 2v by 3, and R omega, which is the absolute speed of the track on which the train is running is v by 3. That's why the relative velocity comes out to be v. Then the value of uh, angular velocity of the train with respect to the track would be 2v divided by r. Can you see that here? So the momentum of the train, you should not write it as m into v. Remember, uh, the train is an arc and arc is moving. Momentum is a vector. So you're supposed to add vectorially the momentum contribution of each of these parts of the train. So uh, or you could use the concept of center of mass. Remember, momentum of a system is nothing but momentum of center of mass of the system. So as this train moves in a circular arc, you could also argue that the center of mass of the train also moves on its own in another circular arc with a radius equivalent to the distance of this center of mass from the center of the wheel, which we know and you should know if the angle subtended by the train at the center is theta, then this distance of center of mass from the center, which is this one, this distance here should be R into sine of half angle by half angle. Angle should be substituted in radians. Since we gave in the question that the arc length is equal to radius radius length, then the angle should be one radian. Therefore, here substitution should be theta equal to one. So that I'll call it as RCM. Therefore, M into VCM of the train is not equal to this V itself or 2V by 3. You have to write for the RCM into omega t. Omega t I'll substitute from here and RCM I'll substitute from here. You end up getting this expression of 2MV by 3 into sine half by half. If you bring this half up, which is what he has done in the options, in the last option, fourth option, you get 4MV by 3 into sine half. Okay, you should be very careful with this expression. And then we move forward to the angular momentum of the train because he also asked what is the L magnitude, right? So the L magnitude of train, that is pretty obvious. It should be M into speed of the train at every place because that's how cross product works. Or you could have directly written MR square into omega t. It's up to you. Okay, so you could write this as 2MVR divided by 3. Okay, so the magnitude of this is known, magnitude of momentum of the train is known, L by P ratio will be this, which should be this, and this is none of the two options A or B. Just because A or B are given, you should not mark one of them. You should be conceptually strong enough to check whether both are wrong or right. Okay, so this is the answer. Therefore, none of A or B is correct. Work energy theorem for the track plus train, if you use, work done by all forces. Actually, there's no external force, so only work should be done by internal force, which is not, nothing but the battery that runs the train. So work done by power source should be equal to the change, actually change in kinetic energy. But since the initial kinetic energy is zero, you could call it as Ke of track plus Ke of train de developed together, the final ones. And Ke of train in this particular uh, thing, you should be able to write it as half m into v of each part of the train square, right? That is okay. But you can't write this as p square by 2m. Okay, the reason is the p value is mvcm and this is not equal to half mvcm square. The reason is very simple. The value of half mvcm square would be right if the train is purely translating. Here, the train actually has a rotational motion. You could see that the center of mass is not at the same place as the bogies of the train. So the, if you were to do P square by 2M, you would actually get a lesser kinetic energy. And that's what the option was looking at. W power source minus Ke of the track is actually Ke of train. But Ke of train itself, you cannot write it as P square by 2M. So that's why the, it is definitely greater than P square by 2M. And since V of train is greater than V of CM. Okay, so that C option is also correct. Okay, so just wait, I'll give you one more homework problem. So we'll go back and mark the correct answers as the C and D. These are the two correct answers. Okay, so A and B are both wrong. L by P ratio comes out to be containing something related to the sine value. Okay, so as a part of our next video, this is also an important question for JE Advance. So this I'm going to take up in AITS Select Series. Even though I made this question, I can't claim this as original one because uh, this question is heavily inspired uh, by Irido's question on a cyclotron. Cyclotron is often neglected uh, topic which can appear as either a normal question or a comprehension in the future IIT JE exam. So please do make sure that you study it very well. Okay. So you just 
with an unbiased mind i don't want to read out the question for you try it out uh, it's about how much time the ion or any particle spends the time duration of spending uh, in the cyclotron before it comes out okay so this is not going to be a straightforward one but definitely a je advanced concept okay so then uh, if you want to explore the other series and try to go through the things uh, more than 100 videos and definitely 95 percent of them are related to iitj advance in case you're looking forward to doing well in iitj advance and try to plug some loopholes in your concepts if at all there are any this would be a wonderful channel and an opportunity to go through the links of these play playlists are in the description below so and one more request please make sure that you like the video once you do it and uh, please do share it with uh, some of your friends and i would be really happy if i can get some more subscriptions because i'm 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 right now i'm not very happy with the amount of uh, response that i'm getting i'm and also the it could be because that my work is not up to the mark so in case you want to suggest few things you can actually uh, uh, put that in the comment section and so but make sure that if you definitely like it you try to share and subscribe to my channel okay so try to bring in more people then we'll get more um doubts asked in the channel and then i'll be getting more ideas to make better and better videos and let's hope you stay back with me in the next video thank you and see you in the next one